All right, Jason, so let's take a look at this file here, and uh, this is a DXF file. So uh, first of all, it's kind of big relative to my 4x8 sheet. It's in millimeters, and of course you can work in millimeters. Uh, we have a lot of people overseas that work in millimeters. Here in the U.S., we're going to do things a little bit more in inches, and and uh, I'll prefer to work with inches just for this example, but you know, when it comes time to doing any of this, you can do it in millimeters as well. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, merge this. Those are the pink contours around the outside there. And uh, I wanted to merge it together into all closed blue contours. Uh, now I'm going to hit F2 for the Precision Input Center. And uh, select this again. And we're going to say divided by 25.4 for a scale. 124, and that's the size part we have. So, you know, right away when I'm looking at this, I mean, if I just nest this and I put bridges on it, you know, not, it's not, nothing's going to work right. Things will cut, uh, it won't pay attention to the bridges and it won't line them up or anything. So, you know, if I want to, if I want to do something like this, I'm going to have to look at the part and see if there's something I can do to help things along. You know, by coincidence, this particular part is something I can, I can do something with, but I could, I could see where there might be shapes that aren't quite so easy to deal with. Um, so uh, let's see if I take a uh, this one. I'm going to come here and you know, these are about uh, three eighths inch tool I, I don't really know what tools we're using and so that doesn't matter just yet whether those are drills or whatever Here I'm just going to do a uh, female uh, cut on these to provide the, the whole diameter and uh, Now I'm going to come to the outside here um, routing offset and uh, We'll use the same quarter inch one here we're going to say bridges, and I'm going to say four bridges. Okay, and we'd have your feeds and speeds and all that in there, of course. All right, and now uh, now here's my part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and rotate this, first of all, 90 degrees. Oops, uh, that's 900 degrees. I'm going to do 90 degrees. All right. And I'm going to put this just at the zero, zero position so I know exactly where it is here. Now I'm going to come and take this part and I'm going to uh, rotate it a little bit. So I'm going to come here and uh, do a rotation. I'm going to go 180 and I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to make it go to this other side by selecting this middle handle here and make it go to the right here. I have to make a copy of this. So now I've got two parts. I mean, this this kind of part, because of this little bit of an L shape here, is going to work uh, better together if I can go ahead and nest this in a pair. And there is actually such a thing called pairs nesting, but in route doesn't support that yet. Um, and if you do, if something did, it would kind of make this easier. But I'm still going to have to manipulate this a little bit to make it work just right. So uh, here's one part of the equation is I'm, I'm putting that right there. And I'm going to hit my shift key and just drag it over here so I can see this a little bit. Now, um, if I take a look at one of these geometries here, um, I'm going to click maybe something, something got messed up during the process. So uh, there's my group, and here's the other group. I don't have to worry about too how how close they are together too much yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and delete this for a second, and uh, first I'll ungroup it, and then just delete this outer one. All right, and if I look at this uh, segment here, if I go to point edit mode. This right here is going to be my longest segment. And my start point, I know, is, is being told to go to the longest segment in the middle. So uh, the start point, or, uh, and, and also this is going to be the area I want to use to judge where my, my bridges are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and uh, create a little line. I'm just going to go to the Create Line tool, and I have Snap to Endpoint check. All right, and I'm going to click out here. So this is going to be kind of like my baseline of this longest part here. And I'm going to go to uh, the uh, point edit tool and I'm going to tell it to show details. 
and I see the length of this segment is about 12.2794. So uh, if I go uh, offset here, I'm going to select this little part. So if uh, I want to make two different bridges, then I, I want to break this into thirds, basically. And so uh, 3 into 12 is going to be 4, and 3 into 24 is about uh, 4.08 is going to be my, my distance to cut this in thirds. So I'm going to come here and go to this tool, and I'm going to say uh, join, uh, offset, uh, offset relief, partial offset. Here's the piece I want to offset, 4.08. I'll move it up there. Now I'll right click. Get out of that mode. I'm going to select this one. Go back here again. Select here. And click to this side. And when I click to the other side, I'll create the new shape. Come back here again. Here and then to the front. Okay, so if I did that, I should have these four parts, and this is going to be about where I want my um, parts to line up. Now we'll go ahead and do this side as well. So we're going to ungroup this, group this. I'm going to start off with a line up here. This is just kind of how I went about figuring to decide where exactly to put those lines, right, or where to put the bridges. So I'm just doing this to help me align the bridges here. All right, so we're gonna go here, click down here. All right, I, got, I don't have to get out of that tool each time. And now I've done the same thing here. Now I'm kind of lining up a uh, a guideline. Maybe that's not the end point. And I'm going to kind of get to both of these sides here. All right, so this is about the area that if I'm going to nest these side by side, if I put my bridges here, th this is going to line up pretty well for these areas. So I'm going to keep, uh, I'm just going to keep my guidelines there at this point. I'm just using that to kind of decide where to put my bridges. Now I'm going to select both of these, go back to my routing offset and apply them again. Now let's take a look at the bridges for each of these. So here's uh, here's a bridge and here's a bridge. Uh, first of all, what did I decide was my bridge info? Uh, I'm going to make them 0.7 here, just because it might be cutting off a little bit here or there. And I don't know if that's acceptable or not, but um, you know, we could probably do some more adjustments in the end and get it closer, but this, this seemed to work when I tested it. All right, so let's go uh, now and take a look at these first two lower bridges. I'm going to go to Toolpath, Edit Bridges, and I'll move this one's pretty much already right there. And I'm going to move this one to be over here. And now this side, this one here, and I can see them by their little green brackets on the, on the outside of the part. So. I've got all of uh, these lined up. Now I'll come over here. I'm going to find two more of these. This one is almost there. This one I'm going to move down. This one I'm going to get a start point here. Now I'll move the start point back here. It's fine. All right, so now everything's lining up here. All right, and I can come here and I'm, I'm going to get these as close together as I can without, without crossing over. And these were able to get pretty close. Everything's still lined up here. So now I'm going to take these two and group them and make them a single object. You know, to nest pairs, we're actually going to nest this object. And, uh, oops. And then group guidelines. I don't need those anymore. Okay, so uh, now we've got our, our parts here. And, uh, you know, we can do a few things. So I'm going to come here and say nest. Um, let's uh, try uh, to do 40 of these parts and see how it does. I'm going to nest this one. There's a true shape nesting with no gap or margin, angle of 90. 
I'm going to use the standard nesting. Uh, we will not rest nest original. We'll create another sheet if necessary. No remnant. We will create a summary. All right. So let's hit apply here. And uh, this this is able to nest. Um, let's see here how many of these fit on this sheet. So we listed 29 on this sheet. So that's uh, 29 by 2, um, which is 58. All right, so we've got 58 of them total on there. Uh, now, let's see, we could also, you know, and I've tried to split this up, you know, uh, manually come here and place probably one, two, three, four, five, six more of these on here. So, uh, so that would get us uh, to... 64 total all right so that's that's one way uh, to do this and I actually have to do a little secondary uh, secondary uh, ungrouping of one of these and and then uh, come here and ungroup it and get rid of all the stuff that doesn't belong there and then group it and then I'll probably just go ahead and rotate this manually uh, 90 or minus 90, depending upon which side I want to the edge on. And this would be likely to not, not cut the bridge anyway. So yeah, now you can just see how you can make a few copies of this. And, uh, we can multi-copy this actually. And uh, apply that. All right, so uh, so there we we got a total of 64 on this sheet, and I had to do some secondary work, but because of the way I did the bridges here, uh, things are lining up, and and uh, one bridge is not cutting into the other because I knew it would more or less treat this like a rectangle. So you know if you can treat things in a rectangular shape manner, then you know, it looks like somehow I I messed up on one of my bridges, but I just have to move that to wherever it belongs. Um, but, you know, the, the main thing is the back-to-back -back bridges, which did line up here. So, uh, so that would be uh, one way to do this nest. And, uh, and like, this particular part kind of lends itself to this. Now, another thing we could do is come here and... I'm going to separate one of these and I'm just going to hit control and shift and drag in a copy of it over here. And we have this as a standalone part. So, uh, so I found if I come here and, and go to block nesting, all right, um, block nesting, we stay here, 34. Uh, let's see, maybe we go uh, 40, just to see how many it does. We won't do multiple sheets this time. So here we have 31 of these, so since there's two in each of those, that's going to be uh, 62 total. So it does a better job than the other one by nest, but it still leaves a space where you have to add a few uh, extra here. And uh, I haven't really found an easy way to, uh, to make it just add just these where it can and do all the rest with these two. So, you know, again, I found uh, that I had to come in here to, to really utilize the rest of this and go... Uh, 90 degree rotation. And you know what? I'm probably going to move that back to the back. Move that. All right. Now let's zoom in here to where the part is. 
is. Alright, so when it's rotating it, you see that when I just manually rotated it, it actually changed my my orientation of the uh, the bridges and it is actually retool pathing it after you rotate it so uh, I probably have to uh, modify one of these or you know let's just take one that's already oriented this way and group that This way, to make sure we're getting one that's lining up the way the other ones are. And we can add one, two, three, and I'm not sure if we can get one in the corner there or not at, at an angle. That would be something to consider. So, anyway, this gives you a three more here. So, that gives you a total of 65. So, then get 65 parts on here and align them up so the bridges don't cut out with a little bit of extra work. You know, it took about 17 minutes to go through this this demo here. So uh, it'll probably be worth it in the long run to spend that little extra time and be able to, to get that kind of, uh, of a result. But again, it'll be a case-by-case -case basis as to whether you know, there's some kind of a technique you can come up with. Um, having these long edges and, and parts that fit together helped a lot. But, uh, you know, this would be a good, good one to cut.